Good morning, class. I figured I would record a little Art with Miss Megan activity. So for this activity, you need food coloring, and the colors in the food coloring I have are red, yellow, green, and blue. You also need a Q-tip, and also a picture frame. You guys can get whatever you size, whatever size you want. I got this size, and I got it at the dollar store since it was only a dollar. There's still some paper. And also some glue. You guys can use this, this type of glue or you guys can use the glitter glue as well. So to start this activity, we're going to open the picture frame. Open in these little flaps right here. And the parents will probably have to help the kids do this. Okay. So once you have all the flaps up, as you can see... You guys are going to take out the backing and take this picture out. And all you're going to be left with is the piece of glass. So all you're going to use is this. You're going to put it back into the picture frame. Like that. And then you're going to just put this stuff to the side. Because you're going to use this after you're done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use your glue. Let me kind of angle you guys so you guys can see it better. You're going to use your glue and pour some on. Remember, don't pour too much. You can pour a little bit at a time because you can always pour more. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of glue onto my photo frame or picture frame. Kind of like that. See how I put a little bit, but not too much. Next, I'm going to take my food coloring. And this step I'm doing, the kids can do. Probably undoing the picture frame. You guys will probably have to help the kids. So here are my colors I have. I think I'm going to pour some blue. So I'm going to do one, two, two drops of blue. And then I think I'm going to do some orange. I'm going to probably put one there. And maybe one right there. And then you're going to use your Q-tip and kind of mix it around. Kind of like that. It's going to create kind of like a stained glass effect. And what you can do is you can add more glue if you want. So I'm going to add some more glue towards the ends. There we go. So I put some more glue. Let me try and put some yellow in there. Put a drop there. And maybe in the middle too. So I put three drops of yellow. Use my Q-tip and do that. You guys can make some fun designs too as well as you do this. You can also add some stuff like you can add some glitter and whatnot. You can do some fun designs. I like that. And then you guys can get rid of the Q-tip. And then this is pretty much the final product. And you can use as much colors as you want and everything. And then once this dries, you can re-put the backing in. And then once you see the front, it'll be kind of a, like a stained glass effect. Like here, I'll show you underneath. 
So see, this is what mine would look like due to the colors I picked and how I did the designs with the Q-tip. See when the light hits it? It gives it a nice stained glass effect. So I'm probably gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll put this on and save it. And this is just a nice, easy, cute activity you guys can do with the kids. Like I said, you'd probably have to help them like take apart the picture frame, but the kids can do the whole art process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye.